fire, but where do you hang your Christmas stockings if you don't have a fireplace? Kimberly is back with some great <laughs> ideas. You don't need the mantle, you don't need no. the fireplace. So many places you can hang the stockings. Yes. And one of the places we wanted to talk about is the staircase, but of course we don't have a staircase in studio, so I called yes, our good do. friends at About Murals, and I said, could you make a staircase for us? And they came up with this beautiful mural it's for nice us. staircase too. Just to give you an idea of like how fabulous stockings look hanging on the banister of a staircase. Like Isn't that really beautiful. Just that's like a great so, idea. So yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. just use garland as a hot to hide any hooks or anything so okay. if you just have a plain wall and no real proper place just use your garland to end up being kind of a guide to how you're gonna hang the stockings that, that's a great idea really fun and then you're not looking at all the little you know the hangers hanging so easy yeah the the wall. and then Ikea thank you they gave us the beautiful demi loon table and the shelf so I could give you a couple of other ideas okay there are holders that you can get that sit on top of a mantle if you don't have one yep. as you said a console table yeah that will hold your stockings like we have here that's what we use we thought it would be fun you know if your children are getting older or if you have a lot of people who are coming for the holidays Days, not necessarily your core family yeah then maybe some makeup bags would be kind of fun instead That's of stockings great. and you could zip them up and maybe there could be some fun things in there first of all dreaming of a wine Christmas did you make this or did you oh, buy this that what it said That's what I it said it said right. <laughs> yeah speaking of a wine Christmas I will show you something else too that I found at Amazon which I thought was fabulous Okay. It is a stocking. Whoa, packages falling everywhere. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Look how cute. It's a little Christmas stocking. It holds three bottles it's of a wine. Canteen. <laughs> three bottles of wine. <laughs> yeah, that's a good stocking. Yeah, that's a great three bottles of wine. So you have to refill it between breakfast and lunch, but still. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Isn't that fun? Oh, I've yeah. never seen that before. I that's, know. A, that's adorable. Just super fun. I love this idea. I think that it's great. You have tweens, or if you, as you said, you have a whole bunch of people coming and you can fill them up with whatever you want, but you know, makeup and cosmetics is a lovely idea. Yeah. And you know what? Nowadays, we always end up having extra people, and so we like to have a few that's little nice. extra things hanging around. That's an easy way to do it. Yeah. I also love the Let It Snow stocking on the back of the chair. This is good. So if you're setting a beautiful formal dining table, you could put little stockings or even the yeah. little makeup bags at each chair. And you just hung this like you've tucked in a ribbon into the seat exactly. and put it around so that you can put the stocking on the back. That's lovely decor and it's, yeah. it's practical. Right? That's simple. A good idea. Simple. And then um, if you've got a, a Obviously, if you don't have a fireplace, you could still yeah. have a fireplace screen, and that's a nice place to put it. If you do have a fireplace, you do want to make sure you keep the screen and anything you hang on the screen far away from the fire. And so maybe don't do put chocolate in there and turn on the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> I did it before. Right, you did? <laughs> I did. What a terrible waste of chocolate. Right? <laughs> See, that thing I've from the bottom of the stocking. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, turn off the fireplace. I also took the liberty of stealing Brian's Christmas tree and I thought you know another he won't even notice if we add one more stocking here right well it like just blends just, right in it just no blends, he's never gonna notice it it just blends right in that's a good idea though you can put a few stockings on the tree right stockings yeah. has, have become really integral to our family because the kids don't want gifts anymore like no. they just you know at a certain age they just want money let's yes. be honest yes. so cash Gift cards and money <laughs> right right yes. so there's less packaging under the tree and more emphasis on on what he thinks in my stocking. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't know how you grew up with stockings, but we actually, Santa, actually put the stockings at the end of our bed. Oh, I so love that's, that idea. And I mean, yeah. that was amazing because as soon as you wake up, I realize now, in retrospect, it was all a ploy. Right. My parents used to go to my uncle's Christmas Eve party every year, and it was wild. And so they would come home at like two, three in the morning, and our cousins would be babysitting us. Right. And they would throw together the stocking and put it at the end of our twin beds. My sister and I shared a room. Right. That kept us busy. The rule was you have to go through the stocking before you wake mommy and daddy up. <laughs> so they got some extra time to like sleep in and sleep it off, you know, before we get oh went to God. mommy That's and daddy. Hilarious. That's hilarious. But it was always fun to wake up to a stocking That's at the end so of the bed. So good. Yeah, Aww. it was lovely. Thank you for all these ideas. Yeah.